القرآن حبل نجاتنا فتمسكي بعراه كي لا نبو إن شاء الله now can I call upon uh, Mr. Siraj al-Islam, Deputy Mayor of Tower Hamlets for his short speech. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is a wonderful, wonderful event. When I was listening to the recitation earlier on, sitting in my chairs, mesmerized by some of the bravery of some of the young people who came up and recited a beautiful, beautiful recitation, mashallah. And I think this is what we need to do as adults, as parents, to inspire and give our children confidence so that they can become the Alim and Hafiz of future, British Alim, British Hafiz of the future. And I think I'm one of those people, when I get the opportunity, I actually watch Q Factor. Um, I also watch Moktob. I also watch regularly Ikra with Ikra. And I think by watching those programs, I have myself personally perfected recitation. Um, as, a, as a young person, when I came to this country, when I was about four or five years old, in those days, we had very little Moshjid or madrasas, and I think most of us are home taught. So my father, my parents taught me at home, and I did go to a mosque earlier on. I think a few years back, I wanted to kind of make sure my recitation was as perfect as possible. I'm no expert. I have never was taught the Tajwid rule. So going back about six, seven years ago, I went and enrolled myself to Toibun Institute, and I learned some basics of Tajweed. And I think by listening and watching programs like Q Factor, Moktob, and many other programs, we're blessed with having so many channels these days that we can all try our best to make sure that we can read the Quran properly in the language that it should be read. So I'm absolutely delighted to be here. Can I congratulate the organizers, Global um, Aid Trust, for organizing this, and um, Channel S Media Partner, and everybody here again. I congratulate you again, and young people in particular who came recited earlier on. May Allah bless you and make you the Alims and Hafiz of future so that you can lead these community leaders in a spiritual way. Thank you, Zakallah. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, Mr. Siraj al Islam, the Deputy Mayor of Tower Hamlets. Now, can I call uh, Dr. Abul Kalam Azad to give his speech? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It has been a wonderful moment for all of us to celebrate your great achievements and performance. Ala inna lillahi ahlina fil ardi. Qalu wa manhum ya Rasulallah. Qalu hum ahlul Qur'an, ahlullahi wa khasatuhu. Subhanallah. Prophet said, do you know, all my companions, Allah has family members. La ilaha illallah. Allah does not have a child or children or wives, but he has family. Then companion asked who they are, yeah, O Prophet Sallallahu He said, Hum Ahlul Quran, the people of Quran. You as parent, you as a teacher, you as an imam, you as a student, you all are family of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala on the earth. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said, Hum Ahluhu Wa Khasatuhu. They are special people of Allah and a special family members of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you brothers and sisters here are family members of, members of Allah and we are so honored and fortunate to welcome you here and host you and I would like to congratulate all the winners and the participants, teachers and everyone, anyone who has contributed to this. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khair, Sheikh Dr. Abul Kalam Azad, for your speech. Now, can I call upon Dr. Abdul Bari, the ex Secretary General of Muslim Council Britain, to come and give his speech? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. It's a wonderful opportunity for me to come for the first time and see these wonderful boys and girls reciting from the Holy Quran. Alhamdulillah, is congratulations to the um, young children, their moms and dads, teachers, and those who have supported them. This is wonderful in the sense that in this country, these are the young generation who will one day become adult, and one day they will take up the baton of social leadership, religious leadership of Muslims in this country. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guided Muslims with Miracle, miraculous thing. Quran, Al Quran is a miracle. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's life is a miracle. So Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's life is gone. We can learn from the history, but Al Quran is in front of us. So those brothers, sisters, their moms and dads and teachers and the community, if we can 
nurture the recitation of the Quran. That's the minimum. Practice, that's another step. And also spreading the message of the Quran. That is most important. That is fundamentally important for not only Muslims, not only for people in Britain, but for the whole world. We know the world is going through chaos, confusion, immorality, and all sorts of things. So one day these brothers and sisters, young brothers and sisters will come up and help humanity to stay in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'll just mention one thing that is to me very, very important. Muslims, when they were at the helm of civilization, we know not only imams and scholars who are not only muhaddis and mufassir and they were world famous, many of these scientists they themselves were hufaz of Quran. Many of these scientists, philosophers, astronomers, they were the hufaz of the Quran. And they created a civilization that has left the baton for probably other people in this world. Renaissance and others, they got from the knowledge of Muslim civilization. So let's pray and hope that our fathers and mothers, our teachers, produce those imams, scholars, scientists, so that they can inculcate the divine rule in this world and spread the message of not only Islam, but for the social harmony to the whole of the humanity. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khair, Dr. Abdulbari, uh, respected audience. Now the Global Aid Trust, they are doing, as we said, they are doing many, many works across the globe. Recently, they have done a brilliantly work in Yemen. As we know that the people of Yemen, they are suffering. They are going through a difficult time because of the war and because of the other political issues. But we are trying to support them. Of whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us, we can support them throughout the donation and we can make dua for them. Now, a video clip, a short video clip will be shown to you about the activities of Global Air Trust in Yemen, what they are doing in Yemen. Need of humanitarian aid. And up to 6.7 million people are on the brink of famine. And a staggering 7.4 million people have no idea where their next meal is coming from. In these circumstances, children and pregnant women specifically are at a higher risk than others. Global Aid for Yemen Relief is on the ground delivering some essential food for the displaced peoples, starting from the most affected areas. وانقطاع رواتبهم الذي كان يشكل عمود حياة اليمني في انقطاع رواتبه لا يستطيع اليمني حتى أن يوفر لقمة عيشه لأطفاله وأسرته في انقطاع رواتبه لا يستطيع اليمني أن يشبع أطفاله قبل أن يناموا فقامت جمعية جلوبال ايد بدعم بعض الأسر وهي 15 أسرة وهم جزء بسيط من مجتمع كبير مبادرة لطيفة حتى يصحو جمع الجمعيات الأخرى بدعم اليمنيين بسد رمق عيشهم وتوفير أساسيات متطلبات عيشهم فقامت بدعم خمسة عشر أسرة في خمسة عشر سلة do you want some sort of entertainment now? Yes, inshallah. Now we will have a small nasheed, inshallah, by brother Shahid Falahi. Ya Rabbi, send your blessings upon Muhammad. Ya Rabbi, guide us in his way. Make us true believers. Sallu alayhi wa sallam. Sallu alayhi wa sallam. Sallu alayhi wa sallam. 
sallu alayhi wa sallam Ya Rabbi send your blessings upon Muhammad Ya Rabbi guide us in his way Make us true believers Sallu alayhi wa sallam Sallu alayhi wa sallam Sallu alayhi wa sallam Sallu alayhi wa sallam Mercy upon the world Rahmatun lil alameen The final messenger Khatimun nabiyin The best example to follow Khuluqin azim Muhammad our master Peace be upon him Ya Rabbi Send your blessings upon Muhammad Ya Rabbi Guide us in his way Make us true believers Sallu alayhi wa sallam Sallu alayhi wa sallam Sallu alayhi wa sallam Sallu alayhi wa sallam He is the chosen one Al-Mustafa He is the beloved Habib Allah His message is divine and its words true His ways of modesty, mercy and virtue He showed us we are equal one Humanity in his dying breath He cried and prayed Saying Ya Ummati Saying Ya Ummati Ya Rabbi send your blessings upon Muhammad Ya Rabbi guide us in his way Make us true believers Sallu alayhi wa sallam 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 Jazakallah wa sallam Inshallah, now every one of us, we are waiting to see our children to come and take the certificates, Inshallah. But before that, you have to be patient for a few more minutes. Now I will be calling upon Barrister Nazir Ahmed, the Deputy Speaker of Newham Council Borough, to come and give us a very short speech. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First of all, I would like to thank and welcome all of you in the borough of Newham. Although Global Aid Trust is official and conventional host, Newham has become de facto host. Thank you all of you. Special thanks to the winners who have won this evening, and also special thanks to the participant. Your participant, your participation has made this event lively, competitive, and joyous. I was amazed to see and hear beautiful recitation of our children, younger children. They are our future. They are not only good an excellent reciter, they are also good speaker. I'm sure with care, our nursing assistants, they will in future be effective speaker. They can speak with authority for us, inshallah. May Allah help them, guide them. Thank you very much. Salaamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Now, inshallah, we'll move on to our Next stage, which is what? Which is giving out the certificates, inshallah, to the quarter finalists. Inshallah, as we can see, all of them, they are lining up, inshallah, to take the certificates. Can I, can I request all the, chi uh, the chief guests and all the guests and everyone to come here to hand out the certificates to our children who managed to go to the quarter final, inshallah. Abdul Maid Yahya, Abdullah Zubair, Abdullah Rahman, Abdullah Al Mahdi. Adam Muhammad, Adil Ali, Ahsan Ahmed, Amal Umar, Amil Rahman, Amir Hamza, Arif Hussain, many of them, many of them, mashallah. 
داود حسين فيزا سلطان علي فهميدا بن رحمن فضل ربي أحمد حذيفة صدمان حميرة بيقم أحمد حسين أحمد حسين إبراهيم الدين إبراهيم أحمد إبراهيم المدني افتخار أحمد إناية الله إكرام قاهر جادل غفار جنة بيقم ميا جبير أحمد جميرة أحمد مهدي محمد ناصر مهدي صدمان حبيب محفوظ الرحمن مايدا حق محمد عبد الله ابن حميد محمد محفوظ حسين محمد منذر حسين محمد نهال أحمد محمد توفيق العزيز مبين, مبين جافد محمد حذيفة مور إن شاء الله محمد إسحاق حسين محمد ياسين نفيسة بيقم أحمد رفسان سكدر راكين أحمد عبد الرافض ريان كازي تحسين ريان حسين رضوان أحمد أمور إن شاء الله سيم أمان أحمد سامي أنس خان سامية إسلام شاه تبسم بيقم شهريار أبول سيام محمد حسين أميمة خان and Umayma Rahman Mora coming Uthman Ali Ahmed Yahya Abdul Qayyum Khan Yusuf Mursaleen Hussain Zahra Ahmed Zain Ali Zainab Haq Zakaria Hussain That's it for the quarter finalists MashaAllah MashaAllah now is the turn for the semi-finalists Those who went to the semi-final we will be calling them to come and insha'Allah. So the first one is Khadija Ali, Maisha Mia, Muhammad Abdul Basit, Nuzhat Kareem, Sayyid Muhammad Mujaddid Ali, Tahir Ahmed, Zidan Ahmed. MashaAllah, this is the moment for our children when they are getting their certificates. MashaAllah. <laughs> وأضاء للدنيا طريقا مشرقا وهدى من الرحمن يهدينا به للصالحات وللمكارم والتقى نور على مر الزمان تألقا وأضاء للدنيا طريقا مشرقا وهدى من الرحمن now we'll call the finalists, those your name will be called. Can you come to on the stage, inshallah, to take your certificate and award? Tawheed Rahman, can you come on the stage, please? So can we call Safwan Mahdi Sharif and Tayyib Uddin? Tayyib Uddin. Now we'll be calling the teen group, teenage group, those who came to the final. Muhammad Deen Hafiz, can you join us, inshallah, and take your certificate? Shuraim Ahmed Chowdhury, Shuraim Ahmed Chowdhury, and Mizanul Islam, Mizanul Islam. Inshallah, now is the moment for us to call our winners. Can we call second runner-up? Yahya Ali, Takbir! Shukran Ya Rabbi, Shukran Next one, first runner up, Muhammad Naeem Ahmad, Takbir! Shukran ya Rabbi, shukran champion i'm sure he knows who is wakil rahman takbir shukran ya rabbi shukran hadayta qalbi shukran awarta darbi shukran is the first one is 1000 pound second one is 750 and third one is 500 can we say one more time takbir Inshallah. Now, Inshallah, we'll start calling the winners of the teenage group. 
Okay, the, the second runner up is So can I call Hamid al-Islam Takbir Shukran ya Rabbi Shukran Hadayta qalbi Shukran Now The first runner up Humayra Siddiqa Takbir Shukran ya Rabbi Shukran Hadayta qalbi Shukran Any old brothers and sisters know? Our distinguished presenter was Mawlana Sheikh Abdul Basir Al Masoom Hafidahullah. Congratulations. Our next judge is Sheikh Qadi Ashik Al Rahman. My brothers and sisters, now is the ending of the Q Factor 6. Inshallah, we will be starting 7, 8, 9, 10, and many, many more, Inshallah. Before I go for a short dua, inshallah, just a couple of messages. Message number one, I want to thank every single one of you, including Global Aid team, Channel S team, our judges, our contestants, our parents, and the whole community, all the dignitaries, all the business people, media, and everyone. And number two, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah ta'ala accepts our dedication, our hard work, and our competition, inshallah, bismillah. And inshallah, Quran become our shafi on the day of Qiyamah, inshallah, bismillah. Because of Quran, we go to Jannah, Jannatul Firdaus, inshallah. And the final message for every single one of us, my brother, my sister, please, please read Quran, understand Quran, and shape your life according to the message of the Quran. And you should be promoting Quran around you, giving the da'wah of Quran, inshallah, bismillah. We'll be making a short dua now. I'll be requesting all the brothers and sisters to join the dua, inshallah. Allahumma ameen. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid. اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم اجعل اجتماعنا هذا اجتماعا مغفورا واجعل تفرقنا بعده يا الله تفرقا معصوما ولا تجعل فينا ولا حولنا ولا بيننا شقيا ولا محروما اللهم اجعل يومنا خيرا من أمسنا واجعل غدنا خيرا من يومنا يا رب العالمين اللهم اجعل القرآن ربيع قلوبنا ونور صدورنا وجلاء همومنا وغمومنا اللهم ذكرنا منه ما نسينا وعلمنا منه ما جهلنا وارزقنا تلاوته آناء الليل وآناء النهار واجعله لنا حجة يا رب العالمين اللهم اجعل القرآن شفيعا لنا يوم القيامة يا رب العالمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وطب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته
খুবই ভালো এবং ওয়ান্ডারফুল ইভেন্ট অ্যান্ড আই ওয়াজ অ্যামেজড বাই সিং দ্য ওয়ান্ডারফুল ডিসাইটেশন অফ আওয়ার ইয়াঙ্গার জেনারেশন আওয়ার চিলড্রেন তাদের এত চমৎকার তিলাওয়ত শুনে আসলে আমি মুগ্ধ হয়ে গেছি তারা শুধু ভালো রিসাইটার বা অ্যাক্সেলেন্ট রিসাইটারই নয় তারা বরং একজন ভালো বক্তাও গুড স্পিকার এবং আমি মনে করি যে তাদেরকে যদি প্রপারলি নার্সিং করে বড় করা যায় তাহলে ভবিষ্যতে দে ক্যান স্পিক উইথ অথরিটি কোরআনের যে প্রতিযোগিতা এইটা আমাদের সবার জন্য দরকার এবং আমি সবাইকে এইটাই বলব যে সবাইকে কোরআনের বন্ধু হওয়া দরকার টু বিকাম এ ফ্রেন্ডস অফ কোরআন এত চমৎকার রিসাইটেশন খুব ভালো লাগছে এবং আমি তার উত্তর উত্তর সাফল্য কামনা করছি এবং যাতে পরবর্তীতে আমরা যাতে সাহায্য সহযোগিতা করতে পারি এবং কমিউনিটির সবাইকে বলব এই ধরনের প্রোগ্রামে সবাইকে এগিয়ে আসা উচিত এবং সাহায্য সহযোগিতা করা উচিত টু সি অল দিস চিলড্রেন অ্যান্ড প্যারেন্টস ইন দা দিস কোরআনিক কম্পিটিশন মাই কংগ্রেচুলেশন টু অল দ্য উইনার্স অ্যান্ড especially the parents who has given you know all these efforts to bring their children up to this subhanallah it's been getting better year by year and the talents that we've been seeing um, subhanallah from age 6 to up to age 19 um, the way they have performed their recitation answered the tajweed questions and you know delivered the amazing speeches subhanallah it's it's left me speechless and I I would like to make dua for them that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make them great leaders of the community. This year the Queen Factor says alhamdulillah mashallah was very very good excellent very competitive and alhamdulillah we had a very amazing contestant all all over UK alhamdulillah and they all performed very good alhamdulillah. And this shows that alhamdulillah that our young children and our young brothers and sisters they are that they are loving the Quran that they are coming forward for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he accepts all from them and he makes them all ahlul Quran inshallah. I feel happy that I got into the top 3 but um obviously I w- I wanted to progress even more so then I'll go to my teachers and try to improve as well later on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has give uh, given us the opportunity and given Yahya and the other children the opportunity to read the Quran and to to be able to um ach- reach that stage but more importantly is that they learn and practice the Quran in their life. Uh, in the future it'll help because um, I'll gain more confidence so if I need to speak and you will do a recitation, I can do it easily. We don't have to worry about it. 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 Alhamdulillah, I feel very happy that I've won first place. As last time I competed, I went to the semi-finals. But this year, Alhamdulillah, I won first prize. Allah has the ability to win. এটা আল্লাহর মেহরবানি এবং তারা অনেক বাচ্চা ইন্টারে লাগি কোরআনের সাথে সম্পর্ক বৃদ্ধি করার লাগে যে কষ্ট করছেন আল্লাহ রাব্বুল আলামিন তারা জাজায় খায়ার দান করুক আলহামদুলিল্লাহ আই এম হ্যাপি উইথ দ্য ফার্স্ট প্লেস অবভিয়াসলি देयर इज অফ আ লট অফ রুম ফর ইমপ্রুভমেন্ট হুইচ আই উইল ওয়ার্ক অন আ গো ব্যাক হোম ওয়ার্ক অন কাম ব্যাক নেক্সট ইয়ার এন্ড ব্যাক ব্যাক বেটার স্ট্রং এন্ড বেটার আলহামদুলিল্লাহ আই ফিল এক্সট্রিমলি হ্যাপি আই হ্যাভ মেড মাই ফাদার মাই মাম মাই ফ্যামিলি প্রাউড এন্ড No success can happen without Allah's will and I thank Allah Azza wa Jalla for the success first place. It's a great competition, it's going to increase your confidence levels, reciting, the speeches, you're going to have to give speeches across your whole life. Thank <laughs> you.